Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever requested video. That is what is all of the things that I have on my Harry Potter collection shelf behind me. So I'm going to go through everything that I have back there and I thought I'd take it a step farther and just go through every single thing that I have in my entire collection. The funny thing about this video is that I actually did a video like this before. It was actually my first ever YouTube video but I hated it so much that I made it private and you can never see it. So today I'm going to redo that. I'm going to show you a quick look at everything that I have in my collection, everything that's Harry Potter related that I own. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So the first thing I have in my collection is this cheap knockoff Harry Potter wand. It is styled after Harry Potter's wand but it doesn't have like the different color like detailing on here. It's definitely not like the official one. It has like um, a lightning bolt right here which I think is very cool but I definitely don't think that's on the actual version of Harry Potter's wand. This is actually the only wand that I have so far so I'm hoping to get some actual like prop replica wands soon in the future. The next thing I have is this little golden snitch. This is actually supposed to be kind of a trick thing where it has like this really clear invisible string and you're supposed to like hook it to like your earlobe or something really crazy and like trick your friend into thinking that like a snitch is flying around you but I've never used it for that. I don't really see how that could possibly like work at all. But what I have done is I have used like the invisible string to like hook it up in like a display so that it kind of looks like it's flying and it also turns on and the wings flap which is pretty cool so I would just oh, this is kind of loud so I would um tie this up on its invisible string and turn it on so that it looked like it was kind of flying around although it didn't really move but it was still kind of a cool display but if you don't want to do that it also comes with this tiny 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 little black stand that you just set it on there next thing I have in my collection is some potions. These two are actually like, I think they're candies from um, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Universal Studios. My co-worker had a friend give them to her when they went to Universal and she gave them to me to put in my collection. I've never tried the candy in them because I just use them for a display, but this is a love potion obviously, and this is the Felix Felicis, the liquid love potion. It does look like it's like a syrupy, like I'm, I don't know if you would just drink it, but no, nah, I'm not. And then I also have this little potion bottle that is not Harry Potter related, but I keep it with my potions. It says Nectar of the Golden Life of Health and Vitality. And on the other side, it says, I can't read the first word, but it says some kind of elixir, tree of life. And it's got like a tree on it. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera. But I just thought it was like a real life potion bottle. And I don't know where it came from. I've had it for a really long time. I used to use it in like my hamster cage as an accessory. Next I have this little Dobby statue on a little stand. He's magnetic and he comes off. You can take him off and see he's holding the Tom Riddle diary. Let's see if we can focus him here. He is holding... Tom Riddle's diary and the sock he just pulled out of it. I really like this statue, it's such a cute scene. His face looks really cute. And this is just like the background or whatever. You just set them in there like that. This is the only one I have like this. This is actually by the Noble Collection. Next I have some Birdie Bots beans. This is just a really small little box of them. It's not like the really fancy big box which I'm gonna get at least at some point in the future, but my friend from work gave me these and she also gave me this chocolate frog card box. Um, the chocolate frog was already eaten or taken, unfortunately, but I did get the box and the card. And the card is one of my favorite characters, Gilderoy Lockhart. Next, I have two mugs. This one, platform nine and three quarters, has this little spinning dial on it. It does have like a little chip right here in the dial. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is like a little messed up. They didn't even give me a discount. I got this at like some store in the mall. And then on the other side is the Hogwarts Express. 
And I used to drink out of this mug a lot, but it started to get chipped and stuff, so I stopped using it. And then the other mug I have is this just plain looking Harry Potter cauldron mug. It does have like three little feet on it and it just has like a fake, I wish I had a real looking like detached handle, but it just has like this little attached handle looking thing and it says Harry Potter on the front. Inside this, I just have this sticker. It says another Weasley. If you didn't see my video from a few days ago, it was actually an unboxing of a Harry Potter subscription box, the Accio box. And I got this along with this little set of sticky notes that is themed like the Howler. I got this Ron's Jumper bottle koozie. I also got this invisibility booster. Little USB charger. You put it in your car like lighter, cigarette lighter holder thing. And so it'll look like you have an invisibility booster. I actually couldn't figure this out in my last video. My boyfriend figured it out for me because he's smarter than me apparently. You can open this up and that is actually how you use it. Also in my Accio box I got this pin. This is Ron's Patronus. It is a dog. I'm not sure what kind of dog. And I got this print. Next I have two more little cauldrons. This one is plastic and it has my name and some pretty like rose gold-ish um, like stick-on letters. This was just something that my coworkers did at work for St. Patrick's Day and I was so excited to take the little cauldron home so I could add it to my little collection shelf of cauldrons. And then I have this other cauldron that's like a legit like heavy, like I don't know if this is considered steel or iron or whatever this is, but it's quite heavy. It's got a real handle. It's got three legs. The lid comes off. It's legit. The next thing I have is this super huge um, kind of not that fancy but feels fancy white goblet Hogwarts crest on the front. I just randomly saw this. Um, I can't even remember where Target or something like that. I literally get everything from Target. Shout out to my boss because every year for Christmas he gives us a Target gift card and I take my Target gift card and I buy Harry Potter stuff for my collection. Next, I have the first four illustrated books by Jim Kay, The Sorcerer's Stone, The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, and The Goblet of Fire. I usually buy one of these each year when I get my Target gift card. Then I also have a copy of the Tales of Beetle the Bard. I really like the cover art of this book. I have used copies of all of the American illustrated editions of the books, the hardcover versions of those, although they don't exactly go together because they're like different sizes. I'm not sure what's up with that, but my boyfriend got me these used for a pretty good deal. So here they are. Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hollows. I have a second copy of The Deathly Hollows in the same version that my boyfriend got from a library that was going to throw it away. I also have an unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, which I really love this book because it has like a lot of like facts about like Britain and like British cooking and stuff like that. Keeping with the book theme, I also have this complete set. I believe this is the 20th anniversary special edition. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what this version is called. But I really wanted this set particularly because it has like Hogwarts on the front of it and I thought that was really pretty and my boyfriend actually got me this for Christmas. I believe a year, two years ago, one year ago, something like that. I also have the sorting hat. This is the version that talks. If I turn it on, I can get sorted. Not accurately, but sort of. Ah, yes, a pretty find. You belong in Ravenclaw. My coworker just told me today that he thinks I should have been a Ravenclaw and not a Hufflepuff. I also have a replica of Hogwarts from Department 56. This is the Hogwarts Great Hall and Tower. This does light up. It's got a little thing right here. You can plug it into the wall and all of the windows and stuff light up. Actually, the whole thing kind of lights up. It's pretty bright. This is the most expensive thing that I have in my collection. I bought this from a store in the mall and they couldn't put it in a box for me. I actually have a video on this if you wanna check it out. The last things on my shelf are this little stuffed cat, ginger cat, which I 
think looks like Crookshanks, although it's in no way affiliated with Harry Potter. I keep it with my Harry Potter stuff and just pretend like it is Crookshanks. And I also have an officially licensed Hedwig. Next thing I have is this Golden Snitch little necklace. This is actually a locket with a pocket watch in it, but it has never worked since I got it and it probably just needs batteries or something. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little pocket watch. It's got little wings. When you close it, it looks like a snitch. It's really cute, but it's never worked. I need to find batteries, but I'm probably never going to, so I just wear it like it's a necklace and just pretend like there's not a clock inside. Anytime I do have a clock that stops working, I just set it to 11 o'clock and just think Hogwarts Express is getting ready to take off. Next I have the Mina Lima illustrated version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You probably know that I have this because I have a full flip through series. It's like nine videos, eight videos, I don't know how many videos it is, but it's a full series dedicated to me looking at all of these illustrations by two chapters at a time and kind of reacting to them and talking about them. I also have this journal that says Mischief Managed which I have never written anything in, but I do intend to start using soon. This actually came in like a stationary set with this little notebook, which I actually recently started using for like YouTube kind of stuff. Came with this thing of sticky notes that has just the Hogwarts H on it. This pen that says Hogwarts and has little lightning bolts and stars and things. It also came with some like teeny tiny little like long strip sticky notes with like six different little Harry Potter symbols on them and I don't really know where those are right now. Actually they might be in the bottom of my filing cabinet but I don't want to find them. Then I have the Harry Potter DVDs. This is one through five. I'm missing the Deathly Hallows part one. I don't know why. And here is the Deathly Hallows part two. If I'm going to be completely honest, I only really watch the first three movies and when I do I just what I have also purchased them like digital copies so I never watch the hard copies usually. Next I have this mandrake that I made actually out of some leftover you can hear it's some um, like packing paper it's like just kind of thick cardboardy type paper and I just kind of crafted him into like the shape of a tiny little baby creature thing stuffed him in this pot with some other little pieces of paper to keep him held upright and I crafted this little face into him and just like cut little holes in and I put um these are hair ties that I like kind of wound up and shoved in there as his eyes and his mouth has one too but you can't really see and then at the top he's got a green hair tie and a pipe cleaner in the shape of a leaf. I have this blanket that is all of the Hogwarts houses. I have it folded up right now, but on this side there's Hufflepuff. Hard to get this whole thing in the shot. Ravenclaw on this side, and on this side is Gryffindor and Slytherin. I absolutely love this blanket. My coworker got this for me, a different coworker got this for me for Secret Santa. This was like when I first started my Harry Potter collection. She got me so much stuff, it was so great. I also have this small weighted blanket. I think it's like a children's like like maybe a baby size blanket. It's really small. It's like only this big. It's not big enough to like cover up with or anything, but it is kind of cute. It makes like a cute kind of like throw blanket or decoration, although it is weighted. It's heavy and it's just navy blue and it's got the Hogwarts crest on it. It's like striped. I don't have much by way of Harry Potter clothes. I do have this Gryffindor crew neck sweatshirt. This is my favorite article of clothing maybe in my entire house. This is a Deathly Hollows cardigan. I usually wear this as like my at home sweater like all the time. And it's got all of the Deathly Hollows on it. I love this thing so much. I got this from Hot Topic. So you'll see the Slytherin locket the diadem, the Hufflepuff goblet, Harry Potter himself, the ring, here's the Deathly Hollow symbol, then this is Tom Riddle's diary. I also have this Gryffindor scarf that just has the symbol. I also have this Hufflepuff scarf that also just has the symbol. I have this varsity themed jacket, Hufflepuff jacket. 
on the front it's got a big yellow H it's got a badger on the sleeve and in the pockets I have some Hufflepuff gloves I also have this t-shirt it is Treadley Cannons themed on the side over here it's got some words and I got this in my Accio box as you can see I have a lot of Harry Potter socks and these are not all of them let me know in the comments if you would like to see a full video of all of the Harry Potter socks that I have. Maybe I'll model them all on my feet. I also have a couple prints that have not made it to frames yet. This one is just like a really big Hogwarts crest. This one came with my golden snitch. I also have this magazine, Inside the World of Harry Potter, the unofficial Harry Potter Insider's Guide to Hogwarts, and the unofficial Harry Potter Spellbook. We are no longer required to wear masks in my area, but I do have three Harry Potter masks. This one, another one that just has Hogwarts on it, and another one that is Hufflepuff with like the Hufflepuff mascot or whatever on it. I don't really want to find my other masks though right now. I feel like I just got rid of them. Okay, so I did forget some items in my video, so here's some extra items that I found after. This is the box that my wand came in. As you can see, it looks really nice and professional on the inside. And the outside looks fine also, but it obviously doesn't look like an official wand box. It's just like a movie advertisement, basically. And I have a deck of Harry Potter playing cards. Here is my Lego set. This is the Room of Requirement set. And down here I have the Forbidden Forest Aragog set. Here I have a keychain. This is Fang the Boarhound. This is not Harry Potter, but it is a rat, so I just say that it's scabbers. I also have a hamster cage that is basically Harry Potter themed. Also, the backgrounds are just the extra like cutouts from my Harry Potter advent calendar sock sets. So I kind of turned those into a background for it. I also made this little Ollivander's box, platform nine and three quarters. Here is the Fort Anglia. Over here is a little Hagrid's hut. And my hamster's name is Pigwidgeon. And I also have this sign on the wall in my kitchen. Here I almost forgot I have this Harry Potter, I don't know if this is supposed to be a wreath. It's some kind of Christmas decoration that my coworker got me. I have not unboxed it yet, so I'm not really sure. I know that it has little lights on it, so hopefully it'll be a really cute Christmas display. I also have this Bellatrix Lestrange keychain, which I use as an ornament for my Christmas tree. And I have a Harry and a Hermione Christmas tree ornament that are from Hallmark, but I'm not really sure where those are right now. I also have these two off-brand chocolate frog cards. Here is Jocunda Sykes, famous for the first ever Atlantic broom crossing. And here is Rowena Ravenclaw. I actually, in a way, prefer these off-brand cards to the regular chocolate frog branded, like the shaped ones. This one is like Wizarding World, so it's like sort of legit. I'm not really sure how there's two different types of chocolate frog cards but I love how much this one moves this one just feels so much more magical like an actual wizard photo because it moves so much it looks really really realistic the Gilderoy Lockhart one that I have really doesn't move at all I also attempted to play this game Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the GameCube I couldn't find the Philosopher's Stone one but this one turned out being really janky anyways and I think it was just like I got a broken copy because it just glitched out the whole time. But I do love the Lego Harry Potter games. And here is the mug that I use every single day for my tea. Okay guys, I think that's everything in my collection. I'm sure I'm actually missing something, a few things maybe, but that's the majority of it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my next video. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at magical underscore me underscore Lissa. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in just a few days.